and welcome back to the Texas Underground Radar. I am your host, Jay Vaz. I feel like when I say that, I skip a word. I am your host, Jay Vaz. You get it? You know what I'm saying? Because like, everybody, everybody calls you Jay Vaz Show. When I say Vaz. Everybody calls you Jay Vaz Show. I know. That's just fucking weird. <laughs> not, not, not everybody. It's because your Instagram name is Corey the Kevin Jay Vaz Show. Jay Vaz Show. Jay, <laughs> uh, hey, I'm not. Chill out. Chill out. <laughs> Episode 33, 32, 31, 32. You get it. You know what I'm saying? Texas Underground Radar. I am your host, Jay right. Vaz. Make sure you follow us on all the social media pages at the J Vaz Show. Check out the website, Texas Underground Radar, where you can find some of the shirts, some of the merch. And now you can find the Texas uh, Underground official drink, the J Vaz OG Strawberry Soda, brought to you by yours truly. You know what I'm saying? Um, we're about to try this for the first time as, as a podcast with our guests. JR, you didn't get one, huh? You want one? My boy, not big on soda, man. You're not big yeah, on hey, go to get one, yes. They sponsoring us. You better get a damn soda. <laughs> as, you can, as you can hear back there, but before we get you to them, I'm joined by my co-host as always. Never, Never die. die. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you doing better than me. <laughs> hey, hey. We already, hey, Loki and I talked about this. I did say I was going to do it. He thought I forgot. I said I was going to do it. I said I was. All right, hey, we got bad. some special guests with us today. As you guys can hear them. These guys are a duo right now, man, that, in my honest opinion, you guys are killing it right now, man, from your performance, your music, you know, just, just the way you guys carry yourself. Um, thank you, my guy. Thank you, my guy. Joining us today. <laughs> I said my guy, but okay. <laughs> Whatever makes you sleep better, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Joining us today, we got Tillo, Yo. JR. Yeah. QPM. They are quality pressure music in the motherfucking building. You know what I'm saying? How y'all feeling, man? Man, we good, we good. It's nice to be here, you know what I mean? We already a little bit lit. Hey, we got we, we okay. got we got a new setup for you guys. You know what I'm saying? Not not only we're we trying to drink with you guys, <laughs> but we, we got a new uh, a new little setup we're gonna try with y'all. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. we can get both y'all on camera. Yeah. But uh, hey. I like it. It's good. You know what I'm nah, saying? It's a great it looks, setup, no cap. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. I think you know what I'm saying. But uh, before we get into this, man, before these drinks get any hotter, uh, I just dropped my my strawberry soda. If you guys follow me on Facebook, I've talked about it before. Uh, it's it's a so uh, song. It's a song that I'm dedicating. <laughs> it's a drink that I'm dedicating to my dad. You know what I'm saying? The back of the picture, you see my dad back there. Shouts out to my dad. R.I.P. Uh, it's the J Vass OG Strawberry Soda. Uh, if you guys don't like it, don't say nothing. But we're going to try this drink for the first time on camera. Bet. You know what I'm saying? He said if you don't like it, don't yeah. say nothing. <laughs> hey, um, my boy still ain't get a soda. Can we pass that soda? <laughs> <laughs> he low-key uh, forgot about my boy soda, dog. I thought he said he, 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 get... no, nah, he, said he wanted I'll one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, pour some in there. Pour some in there. Shout out to Pops. Shouts out. Yeah. Shout out to Pops. It's hot. And Pops, it better taste like Big Red. Mm -hmm. That's it's good, hot, bro. Though, man. How you get hot so quick? But it's even good hot. No okay. cap. I will drink this. I ain't gonna lie, I love that they sponsoring us. Uh, I drink this. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I ain't gotta act like I like it or anything. Hey, be that I real like cane it, sugar. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and the camera switches. The camera, the camera switches. Like, shit. Tastes like tastes like yeah, strawberry soda. No, 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 that, that shit is good. I hey, bro, if you actually made that, like, that's impressive. No cap. Oh, I didn't make these. Oh, I what the hell? I mean, I got it manufactured. Like <laughs> I didn't. Like I thought you made it. Bro. First, he picked the strawberries. I picked the strawberries. You ever see how people step on grapes? No. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've seen that, but I ain't. Got little, like in person. Got little toe fungus. And I was, oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Way to kill the vibe, Jay, man. Way to kill the vibe. We just lost our sponsorship. <laughs> we fired them. No, 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 but, um, hey, man. Appreciate you guys stopping by, man. Um For sure. I got introduced to you guys earlier this year, back in, uh, I think it was February or March. February. Uh, you guys were doing a show at uh, House of Blues Foundation Room with Athena. And I saw you guys perform. And you guys performing was fucking, like, well-coordinated, it seemed like. and and. I believe so. Was no, it? that couldn't have been his family here too. No, so no, 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 no. Yeah, this was, he seen this in February at the foundation room. House but of Blues. This was our first show together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, bro, we did an interview, a little quick interview in the oh, little room. See, yeah. Oh god, bro. I'm sorry, bro. In your defense, bro. I was like 15 pounds lighter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
Yeah. Wow. Oh, God, Is that safe? Yeah. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I was like 15 pound slider, so, so it, might, it might have seemed a little different. You know what I'm saying? This soda must be good as hell. Yeah. Yeah. He's just saying that. He'll look, look different at all. He'll look different at all. No, no. So <clears throat> when I got introduced to y'all, man, um, I, I, I was really rocking with y'all's music. I started following y'all and been keeping up with the music y'all been dropping, man. So it's dope to, got, to have you guys here. Uh, we're gonna jump right into it, man. Talk about your, your you know, get to know you guys as, as an artist and whatnot. Um, I took over the last interview, so we're gonna let, we're gonna let Never Die kick this one off, and then we'll go from there. Talk to us, Never Die. Man, uh, the first time I heard about y'all was when you're JVAS Artist of the Week, and um, and I've been seeing y'all do y'all thing ever since. Uh, and uh, even the comments were blowing up when the, when they made you Artist of the Week. Everybody yeah. saying QPM. So is that a label? A uh, click? What y'all doing with that? Let my boys know. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me find out this shit ain't been recording. Yeah, I, I forgot we swap we swap mics. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we we had the mic over here. That's a completely different. Um... Watch it be my mic, bro. Knowing my look is my mic. Nah, it's not. Either way, you gonna hear me. Jr. Say something. Yo, yo. Uh, Tilla, say something? Yo, yo. Yeah, Tilla's was on. It was JR that wasn't on. God damn it. Crickets. Right. So take us back one more time. T uh, take us to the top. Uh, never die. From the top? Yeah, from the top. All right. So the first time I heard about y'all was when y'all were JVAS Artists of the Week. And I've been seeing y'all everywhere since. And even in the comments, everybody was hitting up QPM, QPM. So that stood out to me a lot. So that's what made me really check y'all out. Uh, what is Q QPM? Is a label or... Quality pressure music. Yeah, no. quality pressure music. Yeah, nah, it's a it is a label. Um, it's something I started a while back, and um, I brought Tillo into it uh, like a year ago. This year. So well, this yeah, year. yeah, we kind of. So yeah, it's like a year. So yeah, yeah this yeah. year it's it's been almost a year that he's been in. That's dope. How long y'all known each other? Shit. So we actually go further back than I expected. He, yeah. I mean, he said he saw me in elementary school, but I, man, I can't, man, I'm, I have such bad memory, bro. Like, <laughs> he got short memory loss, bro. Like, you know, <laughs> I swear, yeah. I didn't even know that. As you see, he couldn't even remember you. Like, <laughs> like, that's, why, that's why I was saying so. I mean, but yeah, like, we went, to, we went to Spence together back in fourth grade. Um, we had a few words. No, but he was in a different class. You know what I mean? We didn't really switch classes like that. Oh, really? But, Y'all go ESL. way back. I was in ESL yeah, classes as well. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. Oh, no, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he was, he was. <laughs> Not me, obviously. Like my, my, my Spanish ass, bro. <laughs> but um, for the time, we went to different middle schools, but we got we linked back up together in high school. I mean, I kind of remember him. I remember his name. So, you know, we would chop it up from there. Mm. And we just, you know, we, we was cool from there. You know Already? I mean? but yeah. Jay, that's when Jay was, he'd been doing the music since high school. You know what I mean? I've been there. Already? They weren't supporting him. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, I've been glad to see where he's at now because I really was there since day one. You know yeah. What I mean? But we really yeah. got, you know, bigger in high school and then it just went from there, bro. Yeah, you know, when dope. we linked back up in high school, it was just, like, good vibes yeah. ever since. Already? It's, how did that work out whenever he dated your sister and broke her heart? That was fake news. Oh, no, no, it's inside joke. You know what I'm saying? Inside yeah, joke. Yeah. So no, uh, let, let me get into that inside joke. So long story short, Jay dated my sister, broke his heart, and we've been good ever since. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that she broke. You know, she, her heart was broken. Yeah, you know, what um, I mean? he was keeping it real. She did him wrong, man. She did him wrong. I was playing. I was playing. Nah, uh, fake news. <laughs> hearing how long? We, well, you know, what jar? We're we gonna we're gonna get into your music right now, but. Okay. Knowing that it was that the first time you guys performed together, it's crazy because, like I said, it, it seems so. Y'all seem so in sync. Like y'all have been doing this together for a while. Mm -hmm. So when you guys tell me, you know, when I hear you guys right now talking about it, it's the first time we performed together. That's just crazy. But again, I guess the chemistry from knowing each other outside of out of, out of the music industry and whatnot. Yeah. So, uh, so Jar, you, you, you're the one that's been active the longest. Mm -hmm. um, how long have you have you been active in in, in, in the music and, and and what exactly is inspiring you? Because I know you don't just do hip hop; you do Spanish music, which uh, I I don't, I don't know. Would you consider it like reggaeton? Is that what you would consider it like, or, or just Latin? Yeah, it's like uh, reggae. Yeah, yeah, reggaeton kind of. Yeah, I don't know exactly. I guess it's Latin hip hop. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, okay. 
Urban, I think it's it's under urban urban. You know, uh, the genre will be weird now, right? Latin, so much urban Latin, yeah. Music, you know? Urban Latin music, something like that. You get the point. It'll get the girl ass moving. No care. Same thing with Bad Bunny doing. <laughs> anything, so, yeah, yeah. So I got to ask though. So that was y'all's first show together. So how did you get such a big show at the House of the Blues Foundation Room that quick? Because I know you've been doing music for a while, but is that how through that connection or yeah. no? So I mean, I mean, I've been doing music for like ten. I want to say 10 plus years, but never really pushed it, like, you know, financially took it serious, you know, mm -hmm. started going to shows and start and stuff like that. I would always just record music, store it away, you know, listen to it, you know, and just, just get better, really just elevate and, you know, make better music. But, um, yeah, other than that, just, uh, just started taking it serious this year and, uh, Really got that show by um, from my boy Tillo. He he has a special connection um, with uh, Athena. Yeah, with Athena. So Athena's with right. my family. So oh, that's what's up. She heard. I think I think when I first started pushing my well, I started this year. So when I first started doing it, you know, my pops and Athena are just like this. You know? Already. So he, I guess he sent it out to her, and you know, what I mean, she just seemed like I guess an opportunity. I guess helped jumpstart it. Right yeah. Away, you know what I mean? And we took advantage of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. We went, got the mix done, and. We talked about it. Obviously, we didn't have much music together. You know mm. what I mean? So we did what we could, and that's why I had to break the little dancing, you know what I mean? Because we didn't yeah. have much together at the time. But I knew, I know entertainment, you know what I mean? Because yeah. I dance. So mm -hmm. I know what a what crowd would see. They like to see the shit, you know what I mean? So, but. Shout yeah, out to so, Athena. So shout out to Athena, shout bro. Out like, to Athena for sure. I ain't gonna lie. There's no way I could really repair it back. <laughs> this whole year, she's been looking out, you know what yeah. I Anything, bro. She's like, Hey, I got a show in Houston, so and so. You want to do it? You, wanna, you know what I mean? She like. Hey, but the thing is, y'all back it up. Y'all, y'all bring it when y'all yeah, come. Yeah, so, sure. so that's, that's why y'all moving up so yeah, quick yeah. too. Like, bro, I, I told oh, you, like, bro, like we're we gonna rock every show. Like, I look at it like, bro, if I'm in the fucking Toyota Center or or something like that. Like, I look at my crowd as like yeah. that. So I'm gonna bring. You're gonna get the dancing out of me right away. You know? Do y'all practice before a show or? We really talk about it. Uh -huh. you know what I mean? But we, we kinda, never do. Yeah, it. we never yeah. like really it just vibe, just right? Go over yeah. it, you know what I mean? So we kind of know our music pretty good. So yeah. We kind of know what we need to do. We'll switch shit up here and there, but. And if we have an idea, we'll tell, we'll let each other know before the show. Hey, like you know, maybe on this part I'm gonna do this, and yeah. so just like you know, step to this side or yeah. whatever. You yeah, know? like 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 the first time we tried out slide without the with the, I mean the crowd saying it. We tried it out the show before y'all. Mm. The crowd just picked it up, but that shit was crazy, bro. Yeah. Like, I could, I still can't believe it. I was like, bro, the fucking crowd is saying this yeah. shit. And then we did it at y'all's, and they did it again. I'm yeah, like, bro, what the fuck? Like, all right, and that's how know. things grow organically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. when it's a hit, it's a hit. Yeah, yeah no, for sure. Yeah, but that's definitely. To, shout out to Athena, though. Already, yeah. already. Yeah, that's I'm definitely like, one of my favorite tracks of y'all. Slide, yeah, and uh, and the one with D Baby. Yeah, blessings, and blessings. That's, yeah, that my mom was blank. Bro, that's over a hundred thousand streams. I think it's like mm -hmm. close to one thirty now. Already, I mean, and that's naturally. I don't know how to buy streams. I'm not finna waste my money on that. I know already. a guy, man. Let me. So, you know what I mean? So. But thanks to our team, though, you know what I mean? Like, my brother right here, shit. Shout out to the whole QPM yeah, shout out to the whole QPM. Who all, who all is in the QPM? Um, you got my brother, Zay. You got my brother, uh, Brooke. You really got, all family. So yeah, we're all, yeah. it's all family. That's um, dope. Like, so it's all his family and... Uh, Really like, really like a homeboy, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah really. Just, and some of my family, too, is just, yeah. you know, um, and our girls as well, so... That, that's, that's it, really it makes it, the entourage big, you know. I mean, and everybody, everybody's feeling us, you know. what I mean, like they, they see the vision, you know. What I mean, we put it in the head, and they see it, and they believe in it. That's what no. the fuck helps. You know what I mean, y'all, as y'all had earlier, yeah, you got that team, bro, and they push behind you, and yeah, you know what I mean. Like it, it costs us money too, cause we have to go to the club. You got to buy bottles. But like when blessings came out, bro, instantly, like they were telling us, bro, that shit's hard. Yeah, so we're like, bro, we got to drop it and we got to push it out. You yeah, know what I mean? so that's what we did, but with the right team. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean, everybody understands it. <clears throat> um. Let's 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 go into into this music shit, man. Uh, Jr. As we mentioned, Yo. you're you're into ur, ur, Latino urbano, I guess. Yeah, that would be yeah. lat urban, okay. lat hip hop, or whatever you want to okay, call yeah. it. Uh, you dropped an EP earlier this year, August 14th. Uh, yeah. Diferentes destinos. Uh, it's a five track EP. Uh, yes. I rock with it. I rock with it, man. Uh, I, I think Thank you. if you guys watch the show, I've, I've been I've, I've been talking about how. I'm really rocking with the Spanish hip hop scene right now. So, so when I heard the EP, I was like, "Hey, this is dope, man!" You know, especially because I wasn't expecting it. I guess more than anything. Okay. Because, yeah, like yeah. I said, when I got introduced to you, I I don't think you did any any anything like that. 
So then when I heard the the project, I was like, "Hey, bro, I didn't I didn't even know this motherfucker knew Spanish." You know what right, I'm saying? Yeah, like, no, like, I was expecting say good and Spanish. And him saying that means a lot because he don't like a lot of shit. Yeah, <laughs> for real. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So 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 whenever I tapped in, I was like, "This is dope, man." So talk to us about that project and 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 then you told me you were near so Like, wh- wh- you from Houston? Yes, I'm from Houston, but uh, well, I just made it by like, <laughs> I just made it over the water. You feel me? I, I could have been born over there. You feel me? <laughs> nah, but uh, yeah, man, nigga, we made it. Nah, I'm playing. Uh, <laughs> uh, shit, yeah, I used to be in ESL. Um, so I was born over here, and then my mom, she, I guess she ain't send me back, but I guess for vacation I wanted to go back and stuff. So my birthday's in November, so that that whole time that I had to wait to before. To start school the following year, um, I went to Mexico and I was in Mexico for like the that whole summer. I think plus two, but uh, like almost a year over there. But um, so yeah, I, I ended up not knowing English, so I came back to the United States and then started going to school and then started having to learn English because I couldn't I couldn't really read in English, you know. So mm-hmm. kind of play, play yourself, up. huh? Yeah, <laughs> no, hey man, I was like, Ma, come on. Man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, so so yeah, so talk to us about the EP, man. Um, Diferentes Destinos. Talk to us the story behind this title, and, and for people who haven't heard it, what can they expect out of this uh, five track EP? <sighs> okay, so it was something that uh, I I guess I wanted to I guess I guess not prove my, prove myself, but to show myself I could do it. Um. I never really, when I first started music, I never really liked reggaeton music. You know what I mean? I just, I, I couldn't jam it. I mean, I did understand it, but it was just certain stuff, like certain, like their slang that they would, you know, how they would sing on their songs. I, it just never caught my attention until I guess, you know, music, ele- music, uh, elevated. Yeah, yeah. It, it elevates, yeah, yeah and yeah. it changes. So Evolve. it got different, it got better, and like the vibes got more catchier, you know, the, the beats got more wavier. So it was just like, you know, so when I was hearing other artists, you know, uh, when I was hearing other artists do that music, I was like, you know, hey, let me let me try that. And and as the trend kept growing and people like started liking that music more towards the summer, I was like, you know what, summer's coming up. Let me let me try to put something together. And that's how that came about. Nope. That's dope, man. Yeah, like, <clears throat> like I said, when I heard it, it, it kind of threw me off a little bit. I was not expecting that. Uh, one thing that I have noticed about you guys as well, man, you guys are very consistent as far as to know that. Tillo, you just you just mentioned us uh, mentioned to us how you just literally started taking it serious and just started rapping earlier this year, yeah. and you've dropped shit what like five six singles already yourself. I got four singles out right now, and then we got two a.m. slide blessings and I'm him and four videos basically. The the slide one that's like that was our group and we cause you know what I mean we we keep our group shit that we do kind of separate in a mm-hmm. certain way you know what I mean how we go about it with the money situation and all that. But basically four visuals and four songs out, but eventually we're finna put Slide and I'm him on all platforms. I'm him that's gonna grow on my EP. Yeah. You know I mean, so that's finna drop yeah. soon, but yeah, bro. Yeah, cause you have uh, Big Things, uh, 2 a.m. Know the Feeling. Know the and Feeling, and, and uh, Blessings is, is the, the song y'all did with uh, baby. Uh Talk to us about, you know, you, you were saying how many streams you got on that track, man. What, what were you guys... What was y'all's expectations releasing this track? What was it like working with the baby, knowing that he's one of the, I guess, main artists coming out of Houston right now, making noise? What was that like, and what kind of feedback overall are you guys getting on this track? Yeah, um, for blessings, right? Yeah, yeah. for blessings. blessings okay. Yeah. <laughs> How do you want to kick it off? Yeah. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm follow your lead. Yeah, you yeah, feel me? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Go ahead. So, I mean, first of all, being able to work with someone that's already elevating, you know, what I mean, you, guys, you can see where he's at. Um, being able to uh, to work with someone like that for me to start out my career, I thought it was cool. You know what I mean? And then when I heard the beat, it was a smart move. Yeah, I mean, you know what I mean. When I heard was... I heard the beat, and me and Jay instantly it got my head bobbing. I'm like, all right. And that was the first track you did? No, no, no. That oh, okay. was um, I did 2 a.m. first, and I dropped okay. that one. Fe- well, the video I dropped in February, but I did. We recorded 2 a.m. and then we recorded blessings. So right away, instantly I knew how to kick on my verse better. First of all, you know what I mean. 2 a.m. was yeah. cool, but. It, when I listened to it back, I'm like, I'm not going to kill that shit now. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Good time, of course. Yeah, of course. But back to that. So it was cool that I was able to work with him or whatever. Um, when we heard it and we got in the studio, bro, it was a vibe. You know what I mean? Like, everybody was bobbing their fucking head. 
And then we started putting the snippet out there. He was already making noise. And some people knew us, my best. Some people knew us, you know what I mean, just for knowing so many people. So, like, bro, y'all got y'all one, you know what I mean? And when we dropped it, shit, when I was able to get back the streams, I was like, oh, shit. You know what I mean? I was like, the shit was crazy, bro. Like, it was, it was just popping off like crazy, bro. And then we started pushing in the club. You know what I mean? Had the right team. Pushing in the club, connected with the DJs. Of course, that was important. My dad's a DJ, so I already kind of knew. He kind of put me on game. Oh, that's dope. You know what I mean? Yeah, so connected with them. He was know. a DJ here in Houston? Um, He did a while back. Like, he was at uh, the clubs a while back. All right. What's his name? His DJ name, if you don't mind? Uh, no, his name. He go by DJ C-Rock. You know okay. I mean? but he, he's locally known a lot of people. He's been trying to be pushing like that. You yeah. Know what I mean? But my dad got good taste in music. That's what's count, up. You know what I mean? But as far as um the business with this wasn't, you know what I mean, wasn't good. As far I mean, as, like, how was it like yeah, working with yeah, him? Yeah, like, I don't know, bro. It sucks. It sucks because the song is good, you know what I mean? But it's like, damn. He ain't come, He ain't keep it all the way, honey, basically. Yeah, basically, he didn't hold up his end, end of the deal, really. You know what I mean? I came through, kept it with it, and it sucked. I was like, damn, bro. Like, out of all these people, you want to do this in the city with kind of your own kind, you know what I yeah. mean? Like, we was really rocking with him before I even did the shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. After that, it's like. You look at people different, you see who they really yeah. are. It's like it's not the same. And it sucks because it's like you don't want to look at them like that. You know what I mean? But well, obviously what, he's what, not what in the video. What was it that he didn't end up? He didn't show up to the video twice. Yeah. You know what I mean? Twice. You know what I mean? And, bro, and it's get, not like we try to keep it like a racial thing. Like, yeah. oh, man, he, why'd you do that? Do us like that if like we're your own kind? It was just like he put us in a position where we were like, why? Like, why did you not show up? And then yeah. why did you not show up the second time? You know what I mean? Like, it, the first time is like, okay, maybe you... Something okay, happened. The first time is like, all right, fuck yeah. it, You know what I mean? Yeah. We'll get another one in. Fuck it. I kind of just... You know what I mean? I wasted the money. Not wasted, but we got our first thing <laughs> in. I couldn't let the bread go to waste. You know what I yeah. mean? We had to rock that bitch out. Mm -hmm. The second time is like, all right, my boy, like... The one is unprofessional. You know what I mean? It's yeah. unprofessional as fuck. Like, you're a grown-ass man. You should be able to make your, your decision. You should know. If we talked about it the day before. Yeah. And you know what I mean? No communication is like... Hell no, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. it, was, it was just, at that end, it was just bad business at that point. You know what I mean? It was good. We got the song in, but you couldn't hold up your end of your bargain, bro. You know what I mean? It's like, that yeah. to me was just bad business. Like, it makes me not want to have the song, you know what I mean? Because it's like, it shows who you really are. And it's, yeah. it's true, like, we do this and yeah, you finally get to do a song with somebody you know, like, and it's like, yeah. I was just about to get to Yeah, I've had that happen a lot, man. It was genuine at first. It was yeah. like, damn, I really want to fuck with bro. Like, I really yeah. want to do music with him, but yeah. then it's just like, and you do that, you just like, all right. Spooky, spooky like, truth in the industry. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? It's crazy. Like, I have another song with him. You know what I mean? But at this point, it's like, fuck no. I mean, like, I'm, I'm a, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna drop my song because I spent bread. Yeah, you know what facts. I, mean? like, I spent bread on both of that shit. So I'm gonna still, I gotta do what I gotta do. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna yeah. let my bread go to waste. Yeah. Especially, you know, it's my first year. I was trying to get the year popping. I had it planned out the perfect way. It just didn't go that way. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. I'm gonna still drop it, but. As far as like trying to work with them or anything, it's like I can't, yeah. bro. You know what I mean? There's certain shit I stand yeah, that, on. That bridge is burnt. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? Like yeah. you, you did one thing. How can I? At, at that point, to me, bro, I'm too grown and I've learned lessons in life. Yeah, you facts. cross me once, you say this one thing bad about me. Any way you cross me, bro, it's it's no it's no good. Yeah. Like you could try to pay back and even even Cena, like he didn't even hold up his end of the bargain. I hate to throw him out there, but you know this it's the truth. Yeah. I mean, and it pisses me off, bro, because. Bro, we work hard for our money. Yeah, facts. Especially facts. trying to come up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, and then people wonder why certain shit goes the way yeah. it does and why, you know, shit yeah. happens, bro. You and just like you said, you was excited about the track, everything in motion, doing was, good, was, and then just kind of kills. Even when the DJs heard it before they played it at the club, they told yeah. me, like, bro, this, this is a good this song. Is this yeah, is yeah. they this like, bro, this is a good song. You know what I mean? So, but that that's really the truth, bro. You know yeah. what I mean? So, yeah. That's that. Like, the songs are good. Even the second one is fucking fire. I mean, I can't wait to drop that one, but. You see the video, it's just gonna be us. You know what I mean? Fuck that. Like that like you said, that that bridge is burnt, bro. Yeah. yeah. I'm not worried about it. I'm gonna keep it pushing. Yeah. It's yeah. gonna be the same shit like how uh I don't know if y'all know this, uh these two artists back um well yeah, of course y'all gonna know. Nipsey Hustle and somebody else. They oh Nipsey Hustle and Rick Ross, they had a, a joint uh mixtape or some shit like that, but they was beefing. But they had a whole tape together. Yeah. yeah, it was, yeah. and it sucks to have business thing. like that. Yeah, you know what I mean? like it, really it does. does. Yeah. And that's why a lot of collab albums don't happen and stuff like that because there's so much things going on in the background that people don't know about managers yeah. getting into with managers about things and stuff like that. But yeah, yeah. And, but some, I mean, like, and it's crazy because us Hispanics we always talk about unity. Yeah, you know what I mean, even Brick tried to talk about it the other day. Talk about unity. I was like, brother, I even commented. I was like, bro, that's cool, but you got 
Mexicans doing bad business with Mexicans. How do, how do you expect us to do be unity? Yeah. You know yeah. I mean, when they're the ones fucking it up. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it would, bro. Like, he is right. If we come together, it should be crazy. You get half of these people in the city, half of the Hispanic culture. If people were to yeah. put their pride to a side, yeah, that too. It'll, be, it'll be a completely different... And don't, and don't be scared to network, bro. Like, y'all can see, I'm not scared to network oh, with yeah, nobody. Facts. You know what I mean? And yeah. I've learned. And shit, if you... Network with somebody and you outdo them, you might gain their crowd. It's not. I mean, it is what it is. You know, what I mean, yeah. the game is a competition. Yeah. You know what I mean, whether we like it or not, like yeah. you want to go hard as fuck on each thing that you do. Yeah. But there's a lot of people like that. They don't want network. They feel like too good. Like, bro, it's not even the point. It's it's bigger than that. Yeah. yeah. Speaking speaking of brick, a couple years ago, Jr., you did a track with Brick, man. Talk to us about that. How, how was that? Was that a better experience for you? Mm, okay, so the yeah, it was, I mean, <laughs> he said, he said, mm. yeah. now the reason why I say this because no, that like wasn't that, the first. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. That, I mean, that was actually the first uh, Shit, feature, I guess, under QPM or whatever you want to say. Uh-huh. Um, so yeah, I, I guess I was. Uh, Dang, y'all come out swinging. <laughs> yeah, right. nah, yeah, for real, I was. I was low key, if I if I can remember correctly, I was low key fresh out of jail, and then uh, I was just like, man, you know what? It, something. Turned on, the switch turned on to me. I was like, man, you know what? If I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this all the way. So I, was, I just started stacking my bread, and I was just like, um, I had followed Brick one day, and I was just like, and it was my first feature ever, too, to, to pay for somebody, you know, uh, to get a feature. And um, I was just like, I seen uh, Brick, he was he was announcing he was doing features and stuff, so I was just like, hey, I got it, what's up? And then he was like, yeah, pull up, bro. And shit, I found the beat, and I wrote to it, and I pulled up on him, and shit. I, I did it on the same day, too, so... Put up on him at night and shit. We knocked it out, and that was that's how that went. That's what's up. Yeah, cool. Yeah, it was cool. cool. He was he was cool too. He, uh, he was. It was all good vibes. It was none of this like oh you know like he was like acting like too good for it. Like he would he would yeah. chop it up and be like yo. Yeah. He's like you know he asked me and shit and I told him and he was like oh shit were you on the right track homie you know keep keep doing your thing. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Br- I don't know brick a lot. like I don't really know him, but that's the kind of vibes you get from him. Like he's very. I don't even know how to explain it because I was I was gonna use the term and I was like nah break gonna get on my ass if I'm like he's goofy <laughs> goofy in the way of I feel like he likes to joke around but be laid back yeah, you know what I mean yeah. like like he's not like you say he, he probably doesn't act like he's too good to yeah nah, to yeah. fuck with people you know what I uh, mean yeah yeah, yeah. um shout out to the wolf pack for me certain things and you know what I mean it yeah. seems like he's standing on business too you know? yeah. yeah. No, yeah, he look like he good business. You know what I'm saying? Actually, uh, I wish Jay would fucking push that song more because he got a way different sound than what the hell he got now. No, yeah. I mean that 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 Jay right there, he raw. You know, you're like, you know what I mean? yeah, that <laughs> that's was, what I be saying. I be like, you know. Yeah, I mean? but, I, but see, that was the reason why I didn't like that Jr. Because that one was just right. like, it was too. Look, look, after the show, y'all yeah, let me much. know, and then y'all All give right. y'all a bitch. Talks just never die. Man, so uh, we had our first live podcast, and y'all's performance was one of my favorites. Um, how was that experience? Uh, it was good. I, I mean, uh, all the I mean, all the artists that were there, they did their thing. You know, everybody's pushing, just like everybody else, and you know, everybody's showing love, and you got to show love to get love and stuff yeah. like that. So I mean, but I mean, it it was all good energy and. Um, I mean, everybody did their thing. All right. Is there anything that you think we could work on to make the experience better? In a personal opinion? Um, I think, I, don't, I mean, it's kind of hard. Like, it really goes off the crowd, bro. You know yeah. I mean? like, if you Definitely. Gotta, you got to have people that can really bring that crowd. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that'll make the experience a lot better. It'll tune in. Help uh, the crowd tune in with other artists and help people tune in with y'all. Yeah. Like, I love y'all show. Appreciate it, man. Since Appreciate I got to tune in, I'm like, bro, I love this. I yeah. can't wait. I ain't gonna lie, I'll be waiting for the time. All the fat one up. <laughs> you know I mean? There it goes. You know what nah, I, mean? yeah, it, it, I see, uh, bro, I respect y'all's hustle. I respect y'all's grind, yeah, man. Like, I, ever since, you know, Tillo showed me you guys, like, I seen he posted y'all. I was like, I've been tuned in ever since. And oh, really? like, I just respect y'all's hustle, man. Appreciate like, it. Doing y'all thing, yeah, but as far as the show, bro, like, everything, shit. I thought it was great. Like I said, I respect every artist out there. Now that I, now that I do it and I see how it is, bro, yeah. like, I respect everyone pushing and trying to grind, bro. Like, we all. I mean, just because we're able to bring probably a little bit more people don't mean nothing, you know what I mean? Like, we grinding just as much as you. Yeah. You know what I mean? We just yeah. trying to push. You yeah. Know what I mean, like, I tell people all the time, like, bro, I didn't come, when I said I was going to do this, I ain't, I ain't come here to waste time or money. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I wanted my boy to fucking get the recognition he get because he wasn't getting it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And finally he is. Finally people can hear who he is, you know? So I mean? you came up to him and said you wanted to rap, or you asked him if he wanted to rap? How'd that go? Uh... <laughs> Well, I think I was. I think I had invited him to the studio for me yeah, to record, well, and then he was honestly, just interested. Honestly, I was supposed to be doing YouTube, 
with my girl. I still want to do that shit. Already. Because I mean, we do a lot of couple shit. Yeah. Traveling and all. But, Already. Yeah. So if you listen to his EP, what was it? Travel, Travel the, the World. world first that was going to be our YouTube song. And it would have went perfect. You know what I mean? It just made sense. But I fucking love that song. That song's eventually going to blow up on TikTok. I'm calling it right Already. Now, <laughs> by, uh, but, that boy yeah, manifested. They, they, like, <laughs> yeah, he been rapping and I've been there. We were just talking about this shit, bro. We made a little small video back then and we were just talking about this shit. Yeah. This shit was crazy. But... You know what I mean? Jay was, we just clicked up more, bro. And obviously he was into music. Yeah. So my therapy was music, bro. You know what I mean? Like just listening to music, it'll just calm me down. You yeah. Know I mean, it just, it helps me. Yeah. I just seen rapping. he had a real interest in music and yeah. I was just like, shit, if you want to try it, jump on it. You know, yeah. like we were recording. I was like, you know, I'm not going, I'm not going to be like, nah, bro, you can't record. Like, yeah. you know, I'm not that type of nigga. Yeah. I'm going to be like, all right, you know what I'm saying? I still got some time to go ahead. You know what I'm saying? So, so really thanks to him, like putting the confidence in me and letting me get out there. You know what I mean? Just trying it out, not knowing where it was going to go. And we did the first one. We were like, okay. Like, it was kind of cool. It's kind of yeah. funny. But we say funny shit in there, you know what yeah. I mean? But it yeah, was it was cool like a freestyle, a little free, uh, uh, you know. It was like a back-to-back freestyle. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Me four bars and him four bars and shit like that. That's and cool. We might, we it might was pretty do cool. With that. Yeah. Man, y'all got great chemistry, though. Y'all compliment each other because Tillo got that energy. And you yeah. got energy, too, but you were, like, yeah. more reserved and laid back. Everybody you know what I'm saying? Shit, yeah. You know I mean? So it's dope. Back. It's, it's yeah. a good, yeah. good collab. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. why I wish we could do all the music together, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, we do got solo shit and he yeah. has shit that he wants to work on. And I want to more loose when you get to know me, you know what I'm saying? When Already. You know Already. It's just, it's just, I, I don't, and I don't be acting like this to try to like, you know, I'm too good or anything. It's just, yeah. that's just really how I am. I'm, nah, I feel you. I'm the same way. Yeah, you know, <laughs> laid yeah. back, dead ass. Look at him. Look yeah. at him right now. Yeah, laid back. So we talked about the music you guys put out. Uh, is there any solo projects, group projects that, there's, that should be coming out by the end of the year, early 2023? Um, we are planning to do a group project. Yeah. That's in the that's in the works. Uh, as far as like, when are we gonna release it? It's still not clear yet. So, yeah, but yeah. but we we are definitely we working. Haven't, on we haven't fully like we honestly we haven't started. So now we're gonna get all the beats and everything together. Now we know what the crowd wants to hear and all that. So, but mm-hmm. that probably it'll be sometime next year. Like I said, we don't have a date or anything. But I do have my solo EP uh, about to drop. Um, probably within the next couple of weeks, to be honest. Nope. Me, bro, I'm excited about dropping shit. Yeah, like Jay, no, I be impatient. Like, I get my video, I'll be like, all right, bro, I'm dropping this shit in two hours. Bro. <laughs> nah, for real. And then like, now that we're financially, you know, stable and shit, yeah. we just like, man, I'm I'm really just ready to just push nothing but videos because I feel like you know I've I've been doing music for a long time and I I would always put my snippets out there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, I used to I used to drop my stuff on SoundCloud. That's where I first started. Uh, releasing music but I just felt like people got tired of just hearing it not people want to see who this person is and stuff like that so I was just like you know what I'm gonna just start running it up and when when it's time you know and God always gives people the right time you know what I mean so whenever it's time you just just go all out if y'all understood the money and everything bro y'all would respect everybody's grind no facts (laughs) video buying the beat recording time like it's them features, outfit, promo, like, yeah. All that. Bro, when you add it all up, it's like, damn, bro. Like, we trying to make this dream happen. Like, this yeah. is a dream coming out of our pocket. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, the, I got the solo EP coming. You know what I mean? And what's, I'm excited because a lot of people ain't heard my solo what's it, music. What's it called? What's it called? I, had, I had Actually, I thought it was a great name. It's called Are You Entertained Yet? And to me, mm. it kind of just describes me. As y'all know, I'm a fucking entertainer. Yeah. yeah. Fucker, bro. Yeah. So, but mm-hmm. my, as you can see, like... You, you know what's what what I'm feeling on the track. You know what I mean? Like yeah. this shit gonna get your head bobbing. First of all, I go off a beat. You know what I mean? So obviously I'm a hype beat, I'm a club beat, you know what I mean? So if it gets my head bobbing. Yeah, yeah. Tillo, whenever right. he picks those beats and then he gets to moving, <laughs> I'll be like, okay, <laughs> yeah, now I'm not yeah, yeah, yeah. that vibe. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like, 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 bro, I found all the beats, like blessings, fucking slide. I found the big things. Like I'll be finding no feeling. I just be finding it, bro. And I know I know a beat, though. You know what I mean? I'm like that's all vibe, bro. I just gotta yeah. say the right. I gotta get to it. You know what I mean? Just so you said it. earlier you're a dancer. Yeah, yeah. No. Not a lot, like not no like stripping dancer. No, 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 I wasn't saying like that. Like yeah, no, no. <laughs> I can't be. You know what I mean? No, 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 no. Nah, but tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so bro, I've been dancing all my life. To be yeah. honest, you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. shit. Since I, since I came out my dad's nuts. That's why I knew I was special. <laughs> I was the first one to come out. You know what I mean? So yeah, <laughs> man, yeah, man. Yeah, I was the first one to come out. You know? but, I've always been. A dancer, bro. And to be honest, um, Chris Brown's my favorite artist. So okay. that'll help, honestly help you explain a lot about me. Like, yeah. once I get more into music, and like, I'll probably be in that that type of shit. I mean, I ain't no R&B. I'll put it in my hip-hop way. But mm. yeah, bro, I've been dancing all my life. I did fucking Hella King says. 
You know, mm-hmm. if you if they do King says, I was with one of the, you know a couple of the top teams and all that shit. So you don't want no thing for me, bro. Yeah. I've been performing in high school shows. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At Bradley's, you know what I mean. But shit, natural, and everybody been all. fucking with Tilo. Like everybody <laughs> been fucking with him since like bro, the, the break dancing days. Of, like okay, you know everybody gets crunk and turns turns them up and shit. Yeah, so. you know what I mean. Okay, that makes sense to me because I was like so shocked that you've been only rapping for like less than a year. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. now I kind of see the background yeah, why it yeah, makes yeah. sense. All right, that's what's up. Dancing oh, is a big help. I mean, shit. Even, yeah. Even me now with me rapping, I'll be like, damn, I wish I could move like that too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey, bro, what I do right here? I be like, look, Jay, to do this. <laughs> hey, and then I, hey, and then I take it. I take that home as homework, and I get to doing that home in the mirror. And I'll get, I'll hey, be, like, be the okay, same way with me and G Love. Be like, G Love, how you do that? Yeah, yeah, bro. Just do it like this, bro. But, but yeah, bro. Okay, so that's how that came about, bro. I'm a fucking dancer. I'm not afraid to just dance, bro. That's when I'm free. Yeah. Like it says that's another stress reliever for me. It makes me feel good inside, and it's always, I like, I always see smiles when I'm on stage and perform. I know my energy mm-hmm. is naturally. Yeah. Like, bro, I fucking went viral at Chris Brown's concert. Not the last one, but the one before that, me and my girl went viral. Damn, I really? Fucking, yeah, but long story short, nigga, bro, I was fucking dancing and shit, and this girl ran up on me and tried to throw her ass on me, and my girl came out and out the fucking the seat and, like, pushed her out the yeah. way. This happened in front of everybody. <laughs> everybody. That shit but my point crazy. is, like, bro, I was dancing in front of all, like, it was a yeah. first, Like, this was before he came the whole out. concert. So yeah. everybody was there, bro. You know That's what what's up. So, Performing ain't no thing for me. Yeah. I love performing. Yeah. Right. That's, just, that's just me. It I makes sense. Yeah. Like you said, it makes yeah. sense. Yeah. yeah. I just love performing, bro. That's yeah. dope. I perform right now. Shit, what's up? Go <laughs> 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 key will. Right with this table real quick, bro. <laughs> yeah. So is it, so is there any other lessons that you learned? Like um, anybody that's come that wants to step in this game, anything you want to tell them? Yeah, man. Like definitely have a team who's willing to play. That role, you know what I mean? Because a lot of people, like you said, J Baz earlier, like they don't like to put they don't like to put their pride to the side. You feel me? Mm. So they feel like, oh nah, man, if I do that, it's gonna make it seem like I'm dick riding. But you know what I mean? It's not. It's really you pushing your boy for success. You setting them up for success. You know what I mean? You want everybody got the same goal at the end of the day that they trying to reach. So I mean, if he make it, I make it. If I make it, he makes it. And it's just understood. You know? What yeah. I mean? yeah. So, you know what I mean? Like no matter what, even if. One signs like we still gonna push each other, you know what I mean? Like people gotta hear us. You gonna hear us regardless. Yeah. You know what I mean? So but yeah, like you said, the right the right team. Yeah, right, right the right, right pieces. And put in that work too. Cause yeah. like yeah. back then I never used to go to these like events, like pop out and go do these little performances and stuff like that. Cause at the beginning of the year we used to pay for performances. Now I mean we don't. I mean it's a blessing that we don't have to pay no we more. We pay for one. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean it was just like that experience gaining that experience is just like, okay, you know. Yeah. You know, you got you got to sometimes it costs to be the boss. You know yeah. what I mean? You got the game is so not told. You know, so it's like you got to go through shit and you're like, all right, well, take that loss as a lesson and just keep going. You know, but that, yeah. that show that was a good show, bro. Like that show instantly helped. Jump. It was like right after Athena shit. I mean, so it helped jumpstart us more. People were like, yeah. who the fuck are them? You know yeah. What I mean? Plus, because obviously we just started, but we yeah. the fuck out of it. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but the right team, the right <laughs> mindset, and if they fucking listen to you, understand where you gotta go. You know what I mean? We. Ain't, Always got to be wilding in the streets. Yeah. Like that, bro. Focus. I mean, when I mean focus, like, focus on us, bro. It's a bigger picture than this shit. You know? Yeah. It's, it's a lot. Mm-hmm. You got to have the right team. You can't have fucking knuckleheads, you know? Definitely. I mean? Like you said, pride aside, like, you're pushing us. Bro, if you're going to push us, push us. Yeah. I mean, and it's a reason, like, bro, we think, people think we're not going to repay them at the end. Like, I can't wait to repay my boys. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And yeah. then, then they my family, too. Family is like this, bro. Like, I take that shit personal. You fuck with one of them, I take it real personal. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Of course, I want to take care of my family, and Jay want to take care of his. You know what I mean? So, they believing in us, though, bro. Already. You can tell, you can tell when they post us every day, you know what I mean? You, yeah. you know they believe in mm-hmm. us. So. That's dope, man. Yeah. Uh, like, never die. Say, it, it, it all makes sense now. The, the whole, you've been a performer your whole career, man. Uh, all I can say is... Uh, the, the the future is bright for you guys, man. Yep. Just the fact that you guys just bare, you guys not not even started yet. To be honest, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like like it's scratching the surface. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So so uh, I'm excited to hear to hear the upcoming projects. Yeah, uh, yeah. You're, you're, I'm probably you're, gonna have a listening party, man. Y'all should pull up. Oh uh, really? I put it out there. You know what I mean? I made a video and only a certain amount of people tap in. You know no, what yeah, what I mean? definitely and, y'all should pull up. And for I real. respected it because I I there's so many people I want to invite, but I'm not going to. You know what I mean? I'm not. To me, I want to move a little bit different. I wanted a private session. And I made a video like, hey, bro, you see this video? This is your invite. I shared it. I told people to tap in with me. And the ones that did, 
You know what I mean? Like I'm a fuck. Well, I didn't see it. I would tap in with you. No, 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 that's cool. But I know, I know who watches my shit all the time. So I know who sees my video. Let me see. I, th- I got to listen to thousand followers. At least get like four hundred views. You know what I mean? Yeah. At least. So mm-hmm. that, I know who be watching my shit, bro. And so the, the few that did tap in and want to secure a spot, like shout out to y'all. You know what I mean? I'm gonna look out too. Like yeah. honestly, bro, that's a free verse. Like whoever's coming, that that tapped in with me, bro, that's a free verse. Like you you showing me in the privately. You know what I mean, I'm finna show you that and then some because I'm gonna play some unreleased shit that I got coming out. Hopefully by the end of this year too. Like I'm trying to end oh. this year strong. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. Shout out to them and who actually listen and you know what I mean who fucking listen to the whole video and tapped in with me and got your spot, bro. You know yeah. what I mean? And that's probably going down this Saturday. So Hell yeah. So yeah, definitely if y'all can pull up, I'll like y'all there, bro. It's gonna be This gonna Saturday? Be there, yeah, this okay, Saturday. Okay, bet. Gotcha. You know what I mean? He ain't gonna pull up. He ain't gonna pull up. Nah, hell yeah, no, we'll tap in, man. We'll get we'll get the details here in a second. I'm gonna pull up. He ain't gonna pull up. <laughs> we'll see in the stories who's really there. Yeah. Oh. What else you got for us? Never die. Man, just just capitalize off what Javed said. I've just known y'all for a short time, but y'all got my attention. I'm I'm excited to see what y'all about to do. I expect big things from y'all boys. For real. Anything y'all need from my end, let me know. All love, so, man. Yeah. All love, likewise. Shout, Already. shout out to them strokes. That's why I wear this shit with the motherfucking strokes. Already. Fucking nasty strokes. Hey, I do want to say that about the show, though. That was real love that everybody started showing up after after the Astros game. Yeah. Like, yeah. that kind of shocked me. Like, yeah. you know, everybody chilling, drinking at the crib and shit, and, but people really started showing up. Like, there's real love out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. So the is. fuck out the majors, bro. I got tired of that shit. Yeah. Yeah, you know how everybody been on the Astros' ass. Yeah, that's yeah. Shit. That's all right, though, because on my EP, on my second verse of my last song, I'm finna diss they ass. Boy, <laughs> I'm putting on for the city, bro. Fuck yeah. Man. Especially yeah. them uh them restaurants that they want to feed us. That shit made me feel some yeah. 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 Like, Honestly, yeah, with the way with shit is now, I don't fire, see how bro. they didn't get canceled. And I want to put that out there, bro, because how you don't feed people, bro? Like, you yeah, got no fire. type of Yeah, problem, that's you know? crazy. Like, you put your self-feelings from teams that you got no control of. Yeah. we playing, y'all. You don't want to feed us, bro. Like, they have families, dog. Like, yeah. y'all tripping. So, honestly, fuck those restaurants. Like, yeah. fuck them, bro. You don't do that. Damn, I didn't know they had their families. Way. I heard about it, but I didn't know they had their families. That's yeah, crazy. They, they travel with their families. So, I mean, I don't know if they went, but still, yeah. bro, like, that's a human being at the end of the day. Yeah, facts. So facts. Like Come on, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, show you should have more respect for that. We not like that down here. Yeah. We don't treat the visitors bad when they come to the city. You know, yeah. we'll talk shit, but you don't see us bullying them and doing yeah. all the shit that they be doing, bro. That shit be lame, bro. Like, mm. It's a team thing, you know what I mean? Like, you ain't got to take it that personal, bro. Yeah. Everybody want to Houston till yeah, they got them. Look what the fuck they got. <laughs> got their ass sitting home on the couch with their dumb ass. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, bro, that shit pissed me off. Like, yeah. like McCullough said, bury me in the H, motherfucker. Bury me in the H, and then he got buried in Philly. God damn, McCullough. <laughs> no, but how about the mass shows, though? Hey. Appreciate you guys stopping by, man. We appreciate you guys uh, stopping by today. Uh, we'll be looking forward to the uh, to the upcoming projects. Uh, we'll tap in with you guys uh, after this to get the details for Saturday. Uh, sure. But once again, make sure you follow them on all social media pages at... Underscore official Tillo on the gram and QPM Tillo on the book. On the gram, you can follow me at QPM.JR. And everything should be on the bio, man. Yeah. Yo, stay tuned in, bro. Like, we coming, you know what I mean? As y'all can see, we're making the noise. Some people don't want to believe it till they pop out and see it themselves, nope. you know what I mean? Y'all so, might not know who QPM is now, but later you will. Yeah. Already so. QPM in the motherfucking building. Tillo, JR, no, quality pressure music. Greenspoint. Greenspoint in the motherfucking building. That's where you're oh, from, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both babies. of us from the 5'6", bro. Oh, okay. 56, yeah, yeah. babies. Hell yeah, yeah shout out. know, bro, the hood, no. No, I mean, shout out to the hood. Shout out to Greenspoint, Shout out bro. to Greenspoint. That was where my other studio was at. Uh, Why you move? That's good. I just, you know what I'm saying? Nah, just moved. I'm like, boy, just moved, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we're closer to the hookers and shit, but uh, make sure you follow us on all the social media pages yeah, at the J. Yeah, Best Show. I did not just to say that, bro. Make sure you follow us on all the social media pages. Yeah, we got I'm quality glad you said music. it because I was going to say Never it. Die. <laughs> Never die. Never die. Talk to him. Never die. We out this bitch. He don't even know what I said. Make sure you follow him at Mr. Never Die. I'm Jay Vaz. We got quality pressure music. Tillo, J. Yeah. Oh, you watching Sessions on the Ground Radar. Let's go. Yeah, don't don't get off. And the soda, cuz. Cases, motherfucker. Cases, motherfucker. Cases, motherfucker.